It's Kyle, and today I'll be reviewing The Sword and the Shield, The Matrokin Archive, The Secret History of the KGB um, by Christopher Andrew and Vasily Matrokin. Um, and I apologize for mispronouncing that um, Russian last name. Um, you know, Russian is not exactly my area of expertise, so I'm probably mispronouncing it. Um, but basically, this is a nonfiction book, um, and I would first off say if you're into anything spy related, you'll love this book. So if you love James Bond, um, if you love the Jason Bourne movies, if there's any other, you know, kind of spy type fiction books out there that you'll love, even though this is a non-fiction book, you will love, love this book because it's basically spies in rural world and the stuff that actually happened is much more, I guess, fascinating and unbelievable than anything that I've ever seen in any spy related movie or book. Um, basically the story how this came about, Vasily Matrokin was um, an employee of the KGB. And in 1972, he was made um, the chief archivist for the Foreign Intelligence Archive of the KGB. Um, so basically, if he spied for the Soviet Union during the Cold War outside of the Soviet Union in another country, um, Vasily Matrokin was in charge of the records of that. Uh, while he held this position, the KGB was moving to a new headquarters, so they were moving the archives to this new building. So Matrokin was having to go through all this um, paperwork and records and stuff before the stuff would be moved. And while he was doing this, unbeknownst to anybody else, he was actually recording all these um, records and he was sneaking out copies when he left work every day. So when he left the Soviet Union, um, he had this huge stockpile of basically all the information of all the spying the Soviet Union had done during the Civil War, sorry, during the Cold War outside the Soviet Union. So all the spying they had done in Western Europe or the United States or Latin America and Asia, you know, in all the parts of the world, Whatever the KGB had done, he had the records of it. So that's what this book talks about, is all the stuff the KGB actually did during the Cold War. So you have stuff in here like assassinations. Um, the KGB often tried to influence elections in other countries. Um, all sorts of weird, you know, kidnapping, blackmailing, all sorts of unusual, far-fetched plans. Um, some worked, some didn't. Um, it is an unbelievable history of the Cold War on the spy side of it. It makes you one of those things, you know, I remember after I read this book, it made me think, you know, well, if this was happening during the Cold War, what exactly is happening in the current day world in regard to spying? Because you have to figure out all the advances in technology and stuff that it's even got, you know, more um, unbelievable, the stuff they're trying to do. So um, the Matrokin Archive is one of those fascinating nonfiction books that is so, so interesting to me, it almost reads like fiction. You have a hard time remembering that this stuff actually happened. Um, but it is extremely interesting. So if you're really interested in spy stuff, if you love James Bond movies, if you love the Jason Bourne movies, any spy-related books, I believe you'll love this book. If you're really into history, I think you'll love this book. Um, but like I said, even if you're not into history, even if you typically hate nonfiction books, I think there's a good chance you might enjoy this book. So this has my approval. I highly recommend it, as I usually say. You know, two thumbs up, you know, five out of five, ten star, you know, however you want to rank it. This book is awesome. I would highly encourage you to go to your local library, your local bookstore, um, look for it online, and get a copy of The Sword and the Shield, of the Matrokin Archive, The Secret History of the KGB. I will mention um, these two authors have um, done more books in this series because basically the archives were so big there was more information than they could fit in one book so they've done follow-up books to this this is the only one I have read so I can't really vouch how good the other ones are but if they're anything like this book they're, they would be fascinating as well but I would encourage you to start with this book because this was actually the first book they put out so this would be a good starting point um, so the other books I focus on more specific details like maybe certain parts of the world or certain types of acts but um, the Matrokin Archive the Sword and the Shield, great book, read it, I think you'll love it, um, and I hope you will, if, you do, if anybody else has read one of these books, um, let me know, um, if there's any other spy related books you think is really interesting, fiction or non-fiction, um, just mention it in the comments.